these critiques aren't a stab at your presentation or who you are. It's more for getting feedback and using that feedback to move forward and learn from the things that you've done from the past, see what's worked well, see what hasn't worked so well, see what you've missed out on and use that information to make a better project next time. What's going on guys? My name's Kyle. I just finished my studio presentation maybe 30 minutes ago for my fifth semester. It was my first submission, so this isn't my final project. It was more of a review to get some feedback, although it is still 40% of our studio grade, which is I think something like 20% of our semester grade. So this was a pretty big assessment, but I think we did all right. Now, the reason why I want to show this with you guys is because one, um, I asked on the Instagram story if you guys wanted to see this uploaded on YouTube, 90% of you said yes, and so I don't want to disappoint. For those other 10% who said, no, you suck, idiot, which is what it said in the thing, I'll show you here. Screw you guys, screw the haters. I'll do what I want. But no, seriously, I thought that was pretty funny. So thanks for everyone who said no, that I suck and I'm an idiot. Gah, terrible people. But I really did have some fun with this studio presentation and getting it all together. I used a lot of my new skills, I would say, in video editing, and that surely rubs off because I was the only one with the video presentation. Everyone else had PowerPoints. A lot of people did really well. I think there was a lot of strong projects. I really respected everything that everyone did. I don't think there were any terrible projects. I think everyone really put in the time and I respect everyone for that. But the second reason why I want to show you guys this is because I want to be completely transparent. And I did say I wanted to document my entire semester and my entire time in architecture school to give you guys an insight into what it's actually like and so i think this is going to be really handy i just want to be completely transparent with what i'm doing and hopefully you guys can learn from my mistakes and from what i'm doing i also want to mention that i'm not going to cut out any of the presentation um i do stuff up my words a couple of times and you guys will notice that but that's me being transparent and i hope you guys enjoy this let's get straight into the video of my presentation so my name's Kyle and this is my proposal, Remember, for Woodhouse Activity Centre. The idea behind Remember is to be a vessel to create memorable moments in the outdoors. There are three key words that help drive my process so far, and the first key word is transparency. The clients mentioned a desire for the buildings to not so much be a place to reside in, but a vessel to get people interacting with the outdoors. To have a minimal impact, transparent design that connects people with nature, not just the building itself. The second key word is memorability. And this isn't so much the idea of the built architecture being memorable, but, but, but the experiences people have in the outdoors while at Woodhouse. This axonometric collage showcases the mentionable buildings that already exist on the site and have formed a rustic characteristic for it. As for the site access, the designated location of the proposal is next to Cox Creek in an area towards the center of the site, um, with only one entry for that camping privacy. The third and final word is unity. The clients mentioned an importance of bringing people together, no matter what age, ethnicity or ability. And my initial thought was, how can isolating yourself away from society, this idea of camping, bring people together? And I thought about the humble campfire, because a campfire isn't just a thing that keeps you warm, but it's an activity you do that brings people together to share stories and experience the outdoors together. Every single one of my design decisions was therefore informed by these ideas of memorability, transparency and unity. For example, the showers that sit high in the trees to give a memorable experience, united with and transparent in nature. The hat is a shelter that facilitates the icon of remember, the campfire. It has a grid shell structure using black butt glue lamb um, in long spans to have minimal surface area. This allows the existing trees to poke through the hat, making it transparent within its environment. Considering this is a timber structure, the black butt glue lamb is coated using a fire resistant treatment called zero flame, allowing the timber to be completely flame proof. With the campfire being the centre of the proposal, I wanted to accentuate its form in an architectural way, and I did this by continuing the timber spans in an upward and curling direction. So we'll now dive deeper into what that actually might look like. And so it's all very well to have these architectural forms that are curling and cantilevering, but constructing it is another thing. With the aim of this course having focus on construction, I wanted to learn more about how I could actually make this design. And so I made a model of it. And I started off using Rhino and Grasshopper to make a digital model that I could refer to. Picking materials was hard as well because I tried a whole lot of different things, but research that you can steam bend timber and bamboo, and that's something that had in common, 
and the skewers I had in my pantry were bamboo, so I thought, hey, I'll give it a go. I created a mold for the main lathes of the hat, which have a span of over 30 meters. And yes, this is just a bent metal ruler I decided to bend, but it seemed to work pretty well. Um, my kitchen was also covered in broken skewers, but that's not included in this presentation. And so here are some of the photos of my process making that model. And here is my final 1 to 100 model of Remember. And I really wanted to understand the construction behind it, because after researching for hours looking at precedents and reading about curved timber construction and producing these drawings, to get an understanding of the actual sizing, I wanted to create a one-to-one -one digital model of what this actually would look like. And this helped me create a one-to-two physical model using timber. And this really helped me understand the relationship between the lathes and the beams and their, dim their dimensions and measurements and how they're fixed together and the distance between them. Thank you so much for listening. So I'm not going to include the feedback from my teachers because I then have to ask for permission from them and they would probably say no because they don't want to be on YouTube. Um, so it's just going to be a clip of me. However, I'll just sum up what they said. Pretty much what they've said is that I've got to refine the actual internal spaces, which I completely agree with, you know, how you sit around the campfire, like where is the kitchen, what does it do and stuff like that. So I definitely agree with their critique on that. And I definitely took that in as something I can move forward with in the next assignment. And that's something I want to add is that these critiques aren't really a stab at your presentation or who you are or it doesn't really matter um, it's more for getting feedback and using that feedback to move forward and learn from the things that you've done from the past see what's worked well see what hasn't worked so well see what you've missed out on and use that information to make a better project next time as for the actual graphic of the presentation uh, that is something i hadn't done before i've never used after effects or premiere for a presentation and i thought that was quite interesting using that i'm not too sure if i'll do it again i think it had something unique about it but i don't know if unique was something i was going for so I'm not too sure if I'll use that in the future. You guys can let me know if you liked it or not. The critiquers said they liked the video. However, yeah, I just needed to refine the actual spaces and I completely agree. So moving forward, we're going to keep working on, you know, the documentation and then um, trying to refine these actual sp internal spaces of the kitchen and that, how that campfire works and what the structure actually looks like, I guess. But all in all, it was a long day. That was 10 a.m. to about 5 p.m about 4 30 actually i just had a drum so yeah i really hope you guys enjoyed that um hopefully it gave you a bit of an insight into what i do and what it's like to be an architecture student we'll leave the video there thank you so much for watching please consider subscribing and liking the video it really does help out and leave a comment what did you think about my project what would you give me um i don't think i'll get a high distinction for it just because i didn't fully revise what's the word refine those areas um and i'm completely fine with that because i can use that knowledge to make a better project next time and that goes back to me not caring about my grades. I've made a video on this, but the idea is to not care about your grades, but care about the lessons you've learned and how you can use those lessons to make something better next time. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. I'll see you in the next video.